Okay, it's Henry again, and my next project is the Real Grade Wing Gundam EW. Now, I bought this kit when it first came out, and uh, I'm just now getting around to painting it. So, this is the kit just snapped together straight out of the box. Really good color separation. Uh, don't think I'm going to have to do a lot of masking at all in terms of uh, just like colors that aren't molded in the right colors but uh, I may have to do a little bit of masking to compensate for seam lines however there aren't as many seam lines as I was anticipating uh, I remember on the master grade there was a real nasty seam line that went uh, along the entire length of the wing on the white and the red parts but on this kit Bandai has conveniently put a panel line right along that seam line there and it still looks kind of tacky, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, so I'll probably just let that be a panel line. So, don't have to worry about that on the wings. I think, let me take this off. I think there's a panel line on the red part as well. Uh, no, the red part's just slide on. Yeah. So, okay. Alright, don't have to worry about that on the red part. Um, there is a seam line on the... Buster Rifle. It's not too awfully visible on the top because you got this little ridge right here, but uh, it is, and even on the bottom you got that yellow part, but you got a seam line right there, and then there's a little bit of a seam line right there, so I'll have to fix the one on the Buster Rifle. And then these things, these little uh, ammo pods on the white part that's two halves that fit together, so there's a seam line that goes all the way around that that I'll have to fix. Don't know if I'll try to modify the part so I can take it apart, or if I'll just mask off the gray. I don't know. I'll figure that out uh, when I get around to doing all that. So anyway, I'm going to disassemble this guy, fix the seam lines, and get to painting.
this is probably the most difficult part of the entire kit is painting these tiny little pilot figures and people are always asking me how I paint these things and really it's just a really small paintbrush and a really steady hand and a lot of patience in fact I'm kinda of taking a big risk putting the camera between me and this little hero Yui here but I'm painting something pretty big on him which is his tank top right now so the chances of me messing up the tank top are lower than if I was doing like his hair or his boots or something so oh and I realized I didn't have any of that on camera wow not that it's in focus anyway but it's starting to get there so yeah just really tedious delicate work and for really really small stuff uh, like on the full frontal for Sananju I'll use a toothpick but I think I'll be able to get by with this paintbrush for Hero So decal time, uh, kind of like on the real great Sananju, um, Bandai gives us these clear stickers for the real grade. Not going to use these, but uh, I went online and found some Chinese made water slide decals. Uh, I've already used most of them because I'm almost done. But uh, they're basically a water slide copy of the uh, Wing Gundam Verka decals. So. That's what I've been doing for the past while. Let's zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Still got to do some work softer on the edge of that decal there, but yeah, turning out pretty well. I mean, they're not printed as high quality as Bandai's, but they'll work, especially in one to one forty-four scale. Uh, they, they, you know, the smaller the decal, the less uh, crisp the detail has to be. So anyway, I've got the Master Grade Verka manual here. Uh, luckily, these decals were numbered, unlike Sananju, so it's been pretty easy figuring out where each decal is supposed to go. So right now, I'm about to do this big XXXG01 decal on the shield. This is definitely one that's going to need Mr. Mark Softer because it's going over a few panel lines here. So, you get the idea. It's a shame. Well, I mean, I can't really blame Bandai for not making a uh, 1 to 144 scale wing and over a water slide set because they haven't made a. Uh, like a Katoki version of Wing Gunnam in 1144 scale up until now. But it's the real grade, so Bandai obviously wants to use their own real grade decals for this kit. I don't even know if there is a proper water slide decal set of the real grade markings or not, but whatever. Alright, panel line time. And not doing anything really different than what I did on Sananju. Just using the same thin brush and doing a pen wash for the panel lines. The only thing that's making it tricky on Wing Gundam here is uh, the fact that Katoki's decals are so ridiculous. A lot of the decals are going over panel lines. I mean, it's not a huge issue, but it does take a little bit of doing to get like here you gotta p 
panel line going right, or a decal going right across this panel line. So, it's stuff like that that just sort of is a little bit more difficult than your usual like caution markings. Those don't typically get in the way. But big decals like this Colonies Liberation Organization decal, that's the kind of stuff that makes paneling a Katoki kit a little more difficult. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video I was going to be doing some weathering on the kit, so just doing some sponge chipping on here. Not going to do any uh, chipping with a paintbrush just because I don't want those chips to be too awfully big. So I think from now on I'm basically just going to reserve the paintbrush chipping for 1 to 100 scale or larger. I'll just use a sponge for the smaller scales. So just a little bit here and there. Basically just along the edges. And last but not least, going in with a real touch marker. Just doing some rust stains, some streaking on a few of these parts. Just some places where the chipping is especially heavy or like there would be moisture accumulation causing some rust. Things like that. Yeah, def this is definitely the easiest way to do rust effects. Maybe not the most realistic way, but definitely the quickest and the easiest. Because, I mean, as you can see, each one of these streaks takes about two seconds to make. So, not going to add too many. I think that'll be all for the skirt armor. Maybe add a couple here on the chest on these yellow vents. It's not going to show up too awfully much on the blue, but it'll definitely show up well on this yellow. my little Wing Gundam Verka, or Wing Gundam EW. It's practically a tiny Verka with the decals that I put on it. Let's zoom in on this. Turned out pretty good. I uh, just did some simple weathering, a little bit of chipping, and uh, pin wash panel lining, so nothing too dramatic, a little bit of streaking. So I think it turned out uh, pretty well. I did end up using a couple of the stickers. Uh, I used the green foil sticker that goes up under the clear part for the search eye in the chest and then I used the sticker for the uh, camera on the buster rifle. I don't know if that's actually going to show up in the light or not but whatever it's in there. There you go. You can see it a little bit there. So pretty pleased. I uh, had to do a little bit of masking on this kit. Not a whole lot. Uh, I did do some masking to paint the underside of the shield gray because I just I like it when the underside of the shield is gray rather than just being white with panel lining. Um, what else did I have to mask? Uh, I did a little bit like these little gray parts on the top of the foot. Those were in white, so I did those 
in gray and uh, not a whole lot didn't end up having to mask anything on the wings so overall pretty pleased with everything oh yeah the bottom of the feet I did there's like each foot has three segments like there's the toe the middle and then the heel I had to mask and paint the gray on all three of those segments but it turned out really really nice so I'm happy with that okay so uh, here's the little ammo packs right here oh yeah also had to mask these I forgot about that uh, just because like not even really you can't even see it hardly but the little gray part that these uh, ammo packs are connected to I had to mask because this white thing had a seam line going all the way around it so I just fixed the seam line and then masked and sprayed that inner part gray even though you can't even really see it very much now and here's the tiny little hero Yui figure so there he is doesn't look a whole lot different than when I was painting him earlier he's just got a flat coat on him now so all in all pretty pleased the Chinese decals worked out okay. Uh, they're, they were a lot thinner than the Bandai decals, so they were a little more fiddly, a little more delicate. Um, but I didn't lose any of them, uh, or at least not any that I didn't have spares of. Then I didn't have a lot of spares on that sheet. I used almost every single one of them, but I uh, got everything taken care of and made a nice little real grade wing Gundam, if I do say so myself. The trickiest ones by far or these ones on the wings, the uh, Colonies Liberation Organization, because unlike on the Master Grade, this part moves. This little blue fin can move forward and back, and it's just fixed in place on the Master Grade, so I had to very carefully put that decal on there and then cut along that hinge with the uh, hobby knife so I could separate that decal into two parts and then go over that with Mr. Mark Softer to make sure that everything was nice and flush over those panel lines and over those edges so tricky work with the decals and decals are honestly probably the most difficult part of this project so that about does it for this work in progress video in this kit and with that I'll see you guys next time